hi guys welcome back in this video we will learn about files and folders in our project as you can see that we have a solution file with employee management system it contains one project one of one project a solution file can have one project or multiple projects within it okay click on this employee management system here we have got a project tag with sdk.net for web development okay and we have dotnet 7 version with nullable enable, enable and implicit usings enable i will make a video on implicit usings in future okay after that we have dependencies folder it contains which framework we are using or which packages we will use as we have not installed any package that's why we are not having a packages drop down here okay here we have launch settings json this file contains the profiles and properties where a project will run this project will run on this url if it is http okay this http its url is http localhost 5261 if it is https this project will use this url or we can also use the above one 5261 okay for now it is only related to development purpose and i don't want to confuse more and after that we have this folder www root this is a root folder in our project which contains the static files these static files can be css files javascript files or any library that library can be bootstrap or jquery okay so if i open this css i have got a file site.css you can see this contains cascading style sheet code okay and after that we have js this is also a javascript file which has no code and we have also this fav icon okay now after that we have this controllers folder controllers folder contain all the controllers within it by default we have a home controller here home controller is being inherited from controller class okay if you want to create a new controller let's say you want to create a privacy controller then the name will be privacy controller okay we have to concat the controller with our name okay this is how naming works for controller and after that we have models folder this model folder is basically your classes or you can see your data classes the classes that are used to manage database i can create a class employee here just like this okay and here within it i will define the properties so this is how we can add models here and after that we have views each controller does have its own folder of views okay views are basically in the presentation if i open a website and it contains the display the display is basically coming from the views okay so this home controller has two actions index and privacy they are returning a view and that view is located here index and privacy you can see that within index we have a welcome with learn about dot net core okay so these are by default views provided by zero template alongside home folder we have a shared folder this shared folder basically contains those views which can be used multiple times just like we have a layout okay now if we have a look on this layout you can see we have a nav bar here and below here we have a footer okay and if you have a look we have css files here and also we have javascript files here so this is how it is all working we have a layout here and there is a method here render body okay we are using this at the rate because uh, this is how razor view engine works we can use any c sharp or dot net code within our view by using at the rate sign okay and this is the brief introduction about views okay and lastly we have this app settings.json file this app settings.json file contains all the configuration values let's say i want to have the connection string value i can define here just like this 
connection string and here if a connection is default connection okay so here anything you can write anything here i'm not writing the connection now okay this is how we can write any configuration value here okay there is one thing more to understand this app settings .json is a global file if you want a specific configuration then you can create your own file for development or for production so development values will overwrite this default values if i have logging value here this will have a higher priority than this logging value okay now lastly we have this program dot c sharp file this file is basically used for two main purposes one is to register our services and the other one is to use a middleware okay now as you can see that we are using controllers and views in our project right so we have to register this service add controllers with views okay so if i skip this one then my project will generate an error okay now after that we are using http redirection static files routing authorization map controller route and this is using the controller routing so here we have middleware middleware is basically your request pipeline whenever a user click on any link on our user interface that request goes through all these middlewares if i want to use these static files i will use this middleware if i comment out this one then my static files would not work okay we can create our custom middlewares also so that's all from my side in the next video we will learn about routing in mvc tag helpers and reserve view engine thank you very much take care